Hey fish friends, Zenzo with Tazawa Tanks, back with another video. So today I wanted to share with you my most recent project. Uh, this is something that I've been thinking about doing for quite some time and never got around to it. And uh, finally just said, you know, let me just go get the material and put this thing together. So um, as you can tell by the title, I uh, built myself a little, little uh, aquaponic system. Um, it is a 120 gallon, um, basically a tub or tank or whatever you want to call it, a little, you know, porch pond that I made. And uh, so I'll uh, take you through that in a little bit and show you uh, uh, kind of the steps that I did in making that and also show you the plant bed that I made. And then before I get into the video, um, I did get my t-shirts in. So uh, if you remember um, a couple of videos ago, uh, the printer had made a mistake and they printed the, word, the lettering on the t-shirt. It was, a, it was a, on the image, it was a big fail, but um, I called them, they made it right, they shipped me new t-shirts. So uh, here is a t-shirt, let me just kind of zoom out here a little bit so you can get a look. Um, so it's the logo, it's the logo that you see uh, down here in this uh, corner over here on I guess it would be your right side. Um, and this is uh, the logo that a friend of mine designed and then I just added uh, my uh, company name on top for my, uh, this is my cleaning service business, um, also the name of the YouTube channel. I'm not going to wear these when I'm servicing tanks because I get filthy sometimes so I wear my normal black uh, Tazawa Tanks uh, aquarium service t-shirt. So. Um, anyway, that's it about the t-shirts, so we'll jump in and I will show you um, my DIY aquaponics uh, little pond system. And then also I do have a little bit of bonus footage, so um, this past week I was traveling on business, like I do almost every week, and um, I was in Chicago, or no, I wasn't in Chicago, where was I? I was in D.C. I don't remember where I was, I was in Chicago the week before, but I was in D.C. and um, I was at this big conference and the conference um, had secured the, Smith the Smithsonian Museum, easy for me to say, the Smithsonian, the Smithsonian, uh, the Smithsonian Museum of uh, Natural History. And uh, so we had a private event there. We had, uh, there was, you know, uh, you know food and, and um, bars and things like that, um, alcohol. So, uh, of course, I made a beeline straight to the uh, ocean area and uh, the sea life area and took some pictures and a little video of one of the tanks that they had. So I'll just stip, stick that footage in here as well. So um, anyway, we'll uh, go ahead and I'll stop talking and you can see the uh, footage. Here we are at my uh, 120 gallon aquaponic system that I built. This uh, complete DIY system. So this is uh, four feet by two feet by two feet. And uh, so that holds 120 gallons of water. Um, I am doing a, a uh, an immediate stocking. So I didn't uh, you know cycle this system like I would with a, with a normal uh, fish tank. Um, the reason being is a couple a couple reasons. One, um, it's a very large amount of water for a very small uh, bio load with just a small amount of fish in there. They're very tiny. They're only about an inch long. Um, and then also I have plants um, that I introduced immediately into the system. I do have some cycled media that I can run underneath um, that overflow there. And I have a little system there. I've got a little a box with some... With some uh, filter floss currently just because I was polishing the water but I can um, throw some cycled media in there which I think I'm going to do later just to uh, just to kind of get get it kick started um, I'll probably squeeze out some of my sponges or something in there too just to get some bacteria kicking in there so obviously this is a pond liner and um, not the easiest stuff to work with it's my first time using pond liner um, so I'll show you a clip right here of me filling the uh, this tub So as you can see, it was, uh, you know, it wasn't easy. There was, you know, a bunch of wrinkles and things like that, but I uh, uh, got it all settled and um, gave it some extra slack in there so that it can fit nicely into the corners. And uh, so it's pretty square all along the bottom. Um, this plywood's very thick. It's actually, uh, um, 
very thick plywood. I think it's one inch plywood that I purchased. I don't remember, but it's um, very thick, very heavy. I'd have my wife uh, help me carry this into the house or in, in the, onto, the, on, onto the porch here um, because I built it down in the garage. And uh, it's got a two by four support frame around the bottom and around the top, which you can't see because I did um, put some fence board along the top just to kind of finish up the look and to hide the edges of the pond liner. And uh, underneath on the bottom, I have a, um, not gonna be able to see it, but I have a, uh, uh, a pond pump. It's actually like a fountain pump. Um, it's what I use for water changes and some of my other tanks. And it um, has the capability of being adjusted from 155 gallons per hour to 300 gallons per hour. I have it turned down right now just because the flow was too high before. And then this is just kind of a PVC spray bar that I made. Um, I was playing around with a couple different ideas of doing like a drip type system um, and uh, with a spray bar. So uh, I have a clip here that I can show you of the spray bar on full blast. So you can see the spray bar, you know, it's quite effective. It puts out a lot of water. I've got it turned down right now. And uh, this is removable. I just have it zip tied in place and uh, can remove it from the, uh, the tubing. Um, the very base layer is lava rock. So I went and purchased a big bag of lava rock from the garden center. Um, so that's at the very bottom. And then I've got a, a bed of uh, gravel on top of that. And then the last stuff that I have is I have um, this clay aquaponics um, soil. It's not soil, but the, it's an aquaponics uh, substrate that you use for aquaponics. And it's clay-based, it's clay balls, and they absorb water, and um, they're large enough not to get sucked up into um, any filters or anything like that. Um, one of the things that I did do, and I didn't take a picture of it, and I didn't take a picture of a lot of the things just because I was in I was getting excited and I wanted to get it done before I ran out of daylight. But um, I made a filter housing for the drain. So the drain is just a uh, <coughs> PVC drain that I made. Um, I have that covered. I actually took an old Seachem, uh, um, I think it was my cichlid salt bottle or something, but it was just an old Seachem um, you know, container that I had. So I just took one of those and uh, you know, cleaned it up, peeled off the label, drilled a bunch of holes in it, and then I slid that right over the PVC. So that actually acts as like a kind of a secondary, um, not a filter, but just a, a way of protecting the, um, keeping the rocks and, and the pebbles, etc., out of the strain so they're not pouring back into the, the tub here. Um, as far as sunlight, um, this is, you know, I'm in San Francisco, so, you know, it's uh, foggy a lot of the times. Um, but there aren't any trees covering this area, so I'm kind of wide open. Um, but this is the east side, so it's going to get kind of midday sun, and then later in the afternoon as it gets warm, it's blocked by the house. So it'll be in sunlight for part of the day and then shaded the rest of the day. So anyway, um, that's kind of my little project. Um, I'll be excited to see uh, the fish grow. Hopefully they survive. Um, I'm sure they will. And uh, I probably will add, I don't know, two or three more in here as the, uh, you know, once everything gets established, I've got some uh, biological uh, or some beneficial bacteria going. Um, I'll probably throw maybe some more goldfish or some, some bunkins or something like that. Um, obviously, it's too small for any koi. It's only 120 gallons. Um, and I want to make sure that I have a nice... Um, a nice, you know, a safe and, and uh, good home for the fish. I'm not just doing this just to grow the plants. I'm doing it because I want to also, um, you know, take care of the fish because I'm a fish keeper, obviously. So, and uh, oh, one thing I didn't mention on this bed um, is the drain is on the bottom there, and uh, then there's a second overflow just in case that gets plugged up. <clears throat> so, uh, so there's some extra spillage available. So basically about the first two and a half or so inches of this tub, maybe first three inches or so, um, is water. 
and then the top is not water. So um, I was thinking about doing like a bell siphon and uh, just decided to do this instead. It was a little easier and uh, basically does the same thing. It allows water to pool on the bottom. Um, and then that's also, you know, covered with the lava rock and then um, the top part is a little bit more dry. So the roots can go down into the water and then the plants obviously either, um, they'll have, uh, they're not completely immersed in the water, so um, their rhizome, etc., stay dry. So I guess that's about it. I apologize for the background noise. I live kind of on a busy street here, so um, you can hear the cars driving by. So anyway, hope you enjoy this little clip. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, little uh, tour of my uh, aquaponics system. I apologize that I didn't get a whole lot of footage um, just because when I was building it, I wasn't really thinking about filming it as I should have. And I uh, was just so excited about getting it done and wanted to hurry up and, and uh, fill it with water and get it running. So uh, anyway, um, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your uh, viewership and uh, give it a like if you are a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please do. For those that have subscribed already, I really appreciate it. You're really helping me uh, kind of uh, elevate my, um, my subscriptions. And um, I really appreciate you subscribing. I actually have been averaging um, about 100 viewer or new subscribers per month over the past couple of months, ever since Corey from Aquarium Co-op gave me a couple pointers. So um, keep it coming. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. What? <laughs>